What up, you weirdos? Dave here, and I like knives. Here to talk to you today about the SOG Traction. We have a blade... <coughs> excuse me. We have a blade of three and a half inches, a handle length of four and a half, a width of one and a half, and a depth of a little bit less than half an inch. Uh, it weighs in at a little bit over two ounces. So for the size of blade that you're getting here, this is a, a relatively small knife. Very thin, very light. This thing disappears in my pocket. I enjoy carrying it uh, for that reason because it doesn't it doesn't poke me in the butt very much, which I appreciate. We have a blade of five CR13 MOV, which uh, apparently is. Apparently, that first number denotes increasing quality, so 8 is better than 7, 9 is better than 8, and so on. Which means that 5, I correct me if I'm wrong there, I legitimately don't know. I just read a review of another knife and they said something to that effect. I don't know anything. Help me. So apparently 5CR13 MOV is, at this point, some special kind of crap. Whatever. Uh, I'm not ever going to be in a situation where I entrust my life to this blade so I'm fine with a budget steel just kind of pathetic that you don't put 8 CR13 but whatever I don't know enough to legitimately care about that um, we have a handle material of glass reinforced nylon uh, which is what aids in it being so dang light so let, let's start off with, I like this knife. Uh, I like the, the modified Tanto, Tanto, Tanto? I like the modified T-word uh, blade style. A little bit of a drop point. A uh, little Tanto figure there. Weird looking double grind. Um, if the light catches that just right, uh, just makes me pause and look at it because I'm weird and I like the way that looks. It is strange, but whatever. This isn't a great uh, apple cutting knife, partly because it's not very sharp out of the box. Um, also, the design's just not great for that. And that's what I mostly use my knives for. Uh, good blade, strong lock. Because it is a back lock, this thing isn't going anywhere. It engages quickly. Blah, blah, blah. Do, do, do. Decent fit and... I'm trying to go through the high points first. Decent fit and finish. Because it's so uh, so thin, they... That's probably not why. But they don't trust you to take this thing apart. So all of these rivets, um, they're permanent. You This is untake apartable. Uh, so there aren't any torque screws or whatever. This is as it comes. Uh, and will forever be as it comes. Decent fit and finish in general. This is a solid knife. My biggest problem is right there on the top. You can see just a little bit of knob where the, the lock bar just barely sticks out above the handles. It's not any kind of issue. It's not something that I legitimately care about. Uh, it's just something that it's unfortunate. It bothers, it bothers me a little bit. Um, just in that you can add an extra micrometer of handle or take away an extra micrometer of lock bar, uh, and just make that look nicer, make it look more thought through, if that makes sense. Now we get to the unfortunate things. Um, let's start with the bad things before we get to the unfortunate things. This handle clip, this handle clip. This pocket clip. There we go. Uh, once again, this is drunken intern bullcrap. Uh, why is this my SOG flash, which is in my drawer right now and I don't feel like getting it, uh, is my biggest example of this problem. This, because of the bulb right here, there's a little bit of a jut out right here. Uh, it doesn't have the problem as much with the pocket getting over on top because the bulb just gives the pocket more space to slip out. 
if I hope that makes sense. Uh, but it's still, why is this a problem? Make it flat. It's Surely it is no kind of difficult for someone with such capabilities as Sog to make your, uh, your pocket clip level with the handle. And their, their defense in giving it negative carry space and making, uh, making the knife below your pocket line, which I appreciate. Their defense for that is probably, ah, we want to be, we want to be subtle. We, we want to, so that no one knows you're carrying a knife. Yeah, but you imprinted SOG on the, there we go. You imprinted that onto your, onto your pocket clip. So clearly you don't care a lot about subtlety. That's not why you did this. You just don't feel like telling the boss's son that he's crap at designing things. That's the best, that's the best excuse I can, the most gracious excuse I can come up with. Uh, there's no good excuse for this. Sog, please stop doing this. Um, so I hate that. Uh, luckily, because of the bulb, it's not as big of a problem as on several other models. Uh, but because the screw does, the pocket screw does go all the, the clip screw does go all the way through, I can't modify this like I was able to do with my SOG flash, so it will always be like that. Um, <clears throat> four SOGs, like, like I, <laughs> SOG, calm down, we have one, two, three, four company labels, we know who made the knife, calm down, put it back in your pants, it'll be okay, all right? Feel like somebody needs to go to counseling to be told that their mother does love them because just just calm down. What I'm saying, stop putting Sog so many times on your on your knives. Uh, we get who made the knife, especially when it stands out like this. Um, these handles are textured. They have this is crap lighting. I'm as bad at my job as Sog is at theirs. Um, there we go. There's, there is diamond texturing, which is great, but the SOG stands out from the handles, so that's it's unnecessary, and that bothers me. Um, what also, it's unfortunate that this is such a good, this, this blade does have good action, but unfortunately it's so thin that that good action leads to it's slamming closed on your finger. And this knuckle, because I have been carrying this uh, quite a bit in the last several weeks, using it as much as possible. Uh, so this knuckle is crisscross with tiny little hairline slits. Uh, the blade's not heavy enough for it to close with any kind of force. Um, so it's just the doom on your knuckle that's... I don't, it's never drawn blood or whatever. It never will. I understand that. That's just unfortunate. Um, that's because of the thinness of this design. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what suggestions I could make of how SOG could fix that problem. Um, just if you do have thin skin, if you do have literally skin that is, that is thin, uh, I would suggest I would suggest looking at another knife because that or figuring out another way to close it. I just don't care enough. Um but that that is unfortunate, but because of the thinness of this knife, I'm not sure of a way that that can be helped. So just know that that is indeed a thing. Sog sells this for on their website for $27. Um because of the blade material, because of the blade material, because of the pocket clip, because of, ow, the unfortunate action, that seems steep to me, uh, and that this is just, this is a plastic handle, so 27 seems steep to me. Amazon sells it for 20, Knife Center for 20, Walmart's website says that it's sold for 20, uh, but I, I seem to remember this getting... I seem to remember getting this for something like 25. I think tax took it to about 30. 
Uh, so the price that I paid, I believe, was closer to SOG's actual price. So Walmart's labeling, don't directly trust that. Trust it from the website, just not in store, I suppose. Um, so overall, I give this a... Eh. Uh, there definitely are high points. It does definitely serve a purpose in existence. Um, if you're looking for just one tiny, uh, simple EDC blade, you could you could do worse than this. Uh, this knife will do you just fine. If you're looking for higher quality, um, stay out of SOG's budget section, kind of in general. Um, SOG does have better options, but very few of them for any kind of budget price. Uh, so if you, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please list them below. Other than that, have a great day.